We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Good morning. We finished up breakfast, got in some work hours and got moving in our day and forgot totally forgot that I needed to pick up the camera today. So it is beautiful out, you guys, and we're all the way in the thick of the summer right now. Cameron is getting his things ready because he is heading off to basketball camp. Um, he's been doing basketball camp all this week, and um, so the little kids and I are just hanging out for the day. So let's talk about summer plans, friends. Uh, what do you guys have planned? Well, I feel like I get really creative around the summertime. Uh, I would like to think that I'm creative all the time, but during the summer months is really when my creativity comes alive. <laughs> but really, y'all, a lot of my creative ideas and things come from books we read, movies we watch, games we play. Uh, Savannah and I are going to be working on a little camp Osmo because today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Osmo. I am trying to keep things exciting and fun and creative around here, but with a lot of flexibility which is basically always the plan. A lot of play, a lot of creativity, a lot of fun, a lot of thinking, a lot of conversation, all the regular things that we do. And yeah, so coming off of this past year, one of the things that I've been really trying to do a bit more of is more celebrations. There's been a lot of flexibility going on after the last year or so, um, just trying to adjust, easing our way back into seeing friends and family there's just been a lot of adjustment so I really want to communicate um, a sense of celebration to the kids and so yeah this summer is all about creativity and play and just having a lot of fun so yeah I just finished chatting things out with our friends club a little bit about summer plans and I'd love to know what you guys have going on so you guys can join the conversation all right so first up Kendall and I are going to go and check on the garden because that's what we do around this time Check on the garden. This is parsley. This is purple basil. This is basil and this is cilantro. For what? Is it good? It looks spicy. <laughs> spicy and bitter? These are all cucumber. Oh, cucumber. And these are squash. Oh. This is kale. These two are lettuce. Lettuce, kale, carrot. They look nice except the carrot. I don't... Oh, I see one sprout of the carrot right like there. So you need other sprouts. There we go. The pretty little blooms. Checking on the garden. That looks so pretty. It's growing really nicely. Watering all of our plants this morning. You're welcome. Are you excited about our end of the year celebration? Yeah. Are you excited about making gourmet lemonades for our lemonade stand? Yeah. <laughs> Plan for the lemonade stand is to make gourmet lemonades. And Chef Kendall, um, which by the way you guys, we started calling him Chef because that's what he is. Um, and that's what he wants to be. So he's gonna be making some gourmet lemonades for us to add to our lemonade stand during our end of year celebration. What kind of lemonade do you have in mind? Blueberry. Blueberry. Pineapple lemonade. Okay, pineapple lemonade sounds amazing. Blueberry lemonade. Blueberry lemonade. It's only watermelon lemonade. Watermelon lemonade. Yeah. This is gonna be incredible. Oh, orange lemonade. Oh my goodness. Apple lemonade. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Kendall just got a fresh haircut. Uh-huh. Ooh, the sun is bright. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's like a picture. We get to take a picture and a picture, Kendall. <laughs> Look at him smiling. Thanks for checking on the garden with me. You're welcome. Good morning. <laughs> it's Savannah. And I 
I'm going to be showing you um, where my Osmo fans are for Osmo camp this summer. I told you guys she was ready. <laughs> okay, so this is Secrets of the Dragons. Yes. Amazing Airships, Enchanted World Games, and Magical Workshop. And then this is my Osmo base. <laughs> and then this is Osmo Worlds, Osmo Tangram, uh -huh. and Osmo Pizza Co. So I'm playing Osmo Pizza Co today. Okay. <laughs> and I will be showing you how to play. Okay. I told you this was Savannah's thing. So, so. We'll start off with the Osmo base. Yes, you have to have your Osmo base, you guys. And that is, if you didn't have, I think it's in the Creative Starter Kit, so you're going to need that. And then you're going to need your... Osmo, I mean, Pizza Co. pieces. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kendall's got a little Osmo Monster going on. She's getting her thing set up. It's right here, and you put the thing on top so it can detect your ingredients, what you put on the pizza. Okay. <laughs> so you put that on. Open this and get the pizza. That's what you look yummy. <laughs> Except we don't eat cardboard pizza. <laughs> and now, first of all, we wait for a customer. She has her pieces over here. And then he wants fruit. He said he wants it on half. So I put it on half. And now he really loves it. And then I turn it over to give them the money. Okay. Okay, so they want you to do the amount it would take to get down from 20 to 10. You take 25 cents and you get 50. Nice. Um, now it's back to making pizzas. Mushrooms. She wants mushrooms, but in place like that. Okay. She likes that. See, and now that goes up there. And with more of the happy faces, we get the VIP. That means, that means your customers are happy? If your customers are happy, it makes the VIP want to come to us because she sees that we have lots of customers that like our stuff. That's good business, well, isn't it, honey? Yes, it is. They have all of the ingredients down there, and they mimic your ingredients over here. Normally crowded is fine, but you have to go really quick because a lot of people want the orders. If you don't go quick, then they'll just storm off. Oh. So you need to go quick. So they're really trying to focus on customer satisfaction. Yeah. yeah. It's calm. See, it's not clouded. It's calm. <laughs> what is it, baby? Tell me calm. what it is. What is that, it? It's calm, not clouded. So that means it won't. Um, I can wait longer. Okay. <laughs> he only wants cheese. Okay. So I don't have to put anything on this. There are no customers right now, so I can use the money. Okay. Happy camper. So now I put it on and now I made it to the VIP and please come in. See everybody is taking pictures. Because <laughs> they're happy. That lets you know that it's the VIP. 14, 14, 13, 12. 15 minus what equals 12? Three. Oh! <laughs> the VIP was waiting! <laughs> I made it to the other VIP! The VIP liked my pizza. And now I've got another VIP coming up. 10 minus a $9.25 equals how much? 75 cents. $12.75. Awesome. My favorite asthma game is Enchanted World Games. My second is Pizza Cup. But next, I really want the pieces. So Savannah's having her very first sleepover tomorrow and she says she wants to take a nap so tomorrow can come quicker. <laughs> I hear no, you, no, wait, wait, wait. I hear you. Me. We're gonna test out her entrepreneurial 
financial literacy skills with a little celebration. We're going to have um, our graduation ceremony to celebrate just making it through another year of homeschool. Um, and this time we're going to do a lemonade stand. So I'm super excited about that. Are you excited, Savannah? Oh, we're doing the lemonade stand for the graduation? Yes! I thought you meant for like the, the like something about the Osmo. Oh, so we're doing, we're doing a, a, oh, so, a summer wait, celebration. Do you think will have enough time to make the stage out of cardboard? Well, I have something up my sleeve. We, we figured something out. It. Yeah, we'll, we figured something out. So you get to use your Osmo skills and <laughs> along with our graduation celebration. One of everything, got please. one of everything. Oh, you have No. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one of everything. And Kendall, what are you going to be doing? Kendall, what are you going to be doing for our lemonade stand? Lemonade stand? Um, Make blueberry lemonade. lemonade. You're going to be making blueberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. Maybe a strawberry lemonade. It's going to be so much fun. So. Blueberry lemonade? I've never... I've never heard of that. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. sure, sure. <laughs> My girl. That's a magic shower head. It's just wand. But it sprays water. <laughs> See, it's dripping lots of water. Alright, so we have our final Osmo plans. Her camp Osmo. She decided when she wants to play what on what day. <laughs> this is how she's going to work through this when it's Osmo time. Um, so on Monday, she's playing Enchanted World Games. On Tuesday, she's playing Pizza Co. On Wednesday, Coding Jam. And then on Thursday, she's playing Amazing Airship. So this is her little tentative plan for how she's going to add a little Camp Osmo to her summer plans. Now we do, you guys. Hey friends, hey. Don't know if I showed you this yet but we actually do have our homeschool weekly checklist and this is our checklist for the coming year and I actually do get started with this during the summertime because I think it's nice to get them acclimated to the new schedule slash routine um, but it's just very flexible over the summer and I just allow them to check off what they get accomplished and then we move on from there but you will notice that on Savannah's Osmo fits right into her math time Monday through Thursday and so that is the time um, that she will go ahead and put her Osmo summer camp schedule right into that place so that's our next year's checklist so what is it that you like about the guitar Goodness. Does anybody know what guitar strings are made of? Five times stronger than steel. That's the first question that we've got in our question book for the day. I broke my guitar. One of my pulled one of my strings off. Oh, look at you, sir. Is it just me or does Kendall look incredibly big today? Like a big boy. <laughs> Okay, so I bought my computer out and he's just gonna sit out here and play me some music. So, oh, look at him with his legs crossed. Called tuning pegs. Either term is right. Okay, ready? For me, this is what works. Here, and I've seen people that want your wrist being straight. That does sound like the first note. And then kind of on that, not that we care, but figure the It is the first note. Thanks for hanging out with us today. That is it for us. We are going to hang out a little bit more, have some dinner, round up the evening. Um, but thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember to let us know, let us in on your summer plans. What do you guys have planned for the summer? Um, also, if you guys own an Osmo kit, and have a few of the games which games do you have and which games do your kids like the most savannah loves the um enchanted world games and the pizza co but make sure you come back too to enjoy our end of year summer celebration um, we're going to be doing all things lemonade stand 
and uh, just having a lot of fun and celebrating the end of another really wonderful school year. So remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. subscribe.